Hopefully you uh, got all your equipment out that you have available. We're doing like lots of biceps. So if you don't have equipment, like soup cans, towel band. All right. Gonna give uh, peeps just maybe one more minute. I'm sore today, so I'm gonna roll it out a little bit. I'm kind of sore all the time. Got big bicep day, little arm sculpt. Little core sculpt for sure. And rubble we'll start in about 30 seconds. Get your water your favorite stretches. We'll stretch it out together as well. Alright, let's stretch out your wrists fingers towards your knees, you kind of shift your weight forwards, backwards, hold a little bit, just stretching out those forearms, putting weight into your hands. And go side to side, and start putting weight into your hands. I'll try not to kind of push your shoulders over top of your fingers. And then fingers forward. Same thing, let's go forward, backwards. Trying to keep your palms on the ground. Get those shoulders over top of your fingers. And come up, let's alternate here, down dog. All right, stretching out those calves, your backside, and come forward to a big up dog. And pause, hold, extend, and then tuck your hips. Bring them back for a down dog, just alternate here. One foot to the outside of your hand. Take this other arm handcuff. Pull that shoulder back and twist. Now pause and then let's go other side. Lunge, handcuff, twist. Big shoulder opener, hip opener. Alternate. Hopefully you got some tunes on. Better tunes in me. All right, let's interlock. Fingers behind. You can stay on your knees or you can come to standing. Some big neck circles. Add a little forward fold. Oh, get a little more shoulders, hammies. I love this stretch. 
I know. It's awkward and weird. Probably hard. You can always just stay standing. All right, let's go to the ground here in our dead bug position. All right, so I got a little space between the ground and my back. And I'm gonna press my spine down to lift my shoulders up. Alternate kick, kick, and then I want two knees going out and then back down. Up, alternate, both knees out back down. All right, so we really focus on that disengagement. So you know what that feels like. Engagement, pressing your back down, and then as you extend your legs, trying to keep that spine down. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's go. Press back down to lift shoulders up. Kick. Alternate, then two feet out. Then bring it down, feel that disengagement. Back down. Spine down. Breathe. It's really easy to just lift your shoulders up without using your core, kind of that crunch. But you can feel your back press down to lift those shoulders up. A few more. engagement we want to be nice and strong with a neutral spine that's why most trainers hate crunches all right so we're rounding out our spine so nice straight spine all right let's do some what I got here oops get push-ups so let's find our straight spine tuck hips but that dead bug squeeze your shoulder blades together push the ground away so maintaining a nice plank the goal is to wake up our shoulders. Okay, see that movement back and forth? All right, let's try a few of those. Two, one, and go. Good. Nice tight core. And then super active shoulders going through a big range of motion. Push up without bending your arms. And good rest. Now let's go nice, slow, controlled push-ups. All right, so you can uh, put your hands on a bench or you can uh, stay on the ground. Try not to drop to your knees, even you, Ma. All right, let's go way forward. Nice, slow, controlled to the ground. You can press back up all the way up or press back up to your knees, then to your toes. And repeat. Elbows, I want 45 degrees. At least a little bit going back and not straight out to the side. One more, nice, slow, slow as you can. Beautiful. All right, let's get to work here. So first, uh, we're gonna kind of go in two minute increments. Um, the first one, you're gonna go for, you have two minutes. So as many push-ups as you can, but unbroken, all right? So that'll probably be our first set. You do as many as you can. Um, that'll probably maybe take 30. 30 seconds, maybe longer, if you continue. All right, and then you'd rest, and then when the two minutes is up, we're gonna repeat. So we gotta test our endurance. So this is unbroken, so if you have to drop or you have to stop, then you just stop, all right? And then we're gonna do some max effort V-ups or knee-ins, just as many as we can in two minutes, 
and then wipers. All right, I guess I should show you our V-ups. Okay, you can do as many as you can. You can rest in this round with the core. You can also go knee-ins. Okay, then we're gonna go wipers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Feet down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice straight spine, it's not a, a crunch, all right? So, wipers, heel taps, a little complex, don't worry, I'll remind you. All right, first round going big here, all right? If you have to modify, please put your hands on bench, not drop into your knees, 10 seconds. We're gonna go for two minutes here but one big set, as many as you can. Well, let's go. All right, I'm stopping. 32. Oh, that's enough for today. Oh shit, we have one more set. Okay, we got one minute. So now we got I got 32 reps. Probably not gonna hit that, but I'm gonna definitely try and get 20 plus. Let's say. <clears throat> Shake out those arms, breathe. Remember push up, dynamic plank. All we're doing is bending our elbows, but in a plank, so we gotta keep that core engaged. That's why I like doing it um, from a bench versus from your knees. 20 seconds, round two. Let's try and get as many as we can with that good form. 10 seconds. Shake it, shake it out. And three, two, one. You got two minutes. One, you're ready. Let's go. Twenty-two. Thirty-two, twenty-two, thirty-two, twenty-two. Good work, y'all. Not bad, not bad. Hope those went well for you. Now we got in one minute V ups or knee ins. We're gonna do it for two minutes. As many as you got for two minutes. All right, so we're working. We don't get this big, nice, beautiful rest. Oh yeah, shake it out, oh yeah. Classy, classic Canadian, oh yeah. 30 seconds. Give our arms a break. Now let's crush our core, right? Love it, 15 seconds. 10 seconds, let's go. Let's kill these V-ups. Here we go in three, two, one. Try and count. You can also go knee-ins. 
You can also touch the ground, go up. You can also bring your heels, kind of more of like a glute bridge reach. Again, you know when I talk about crunches. Here we go, 40 seconds in. Keep working. If you pause, that's okay. You just take a break and you get going again. seconds. Now we're going in to six wipers, six heel taps in 15 seconds. All right, 47, getting ready, wipers. Let's heel taps. Let's go. And you can bend your legs for these ones as well. Six total. And put your heels down. And reach for your heels. Six total. And you're gliding along a wall. Oblique city. Pressing your back down and bring those legs up. Good work. Here we go. One minute. I ain't counting these. No idea. You know, like round four or five. Forty seconds. Can feel all my coffee moving around. Let's go. As many as you got here. Come on. Keep it all you got. And rest. Beautiful. Grab a drink. Got a good burn there, y'all? I did. All right, bound our towel weights. So, what do we got first? We're gonna be in a V-sit, a little complex, 20 seconds through each. All right, so let's go slight lean back and go kind of heels over object. We're not doing the pike raises. I usually do those and I don't let you lean back. So we're in like a V-sit, lightly, Hey, touching the ground, you can also bend your knees. When in doubt, bend your knees. All right, then we'll go into V-sit. You can leave your heels on the ground. Get some tension, grab some dumbbells, grab some soup cans, bicep curls. You can even sit on a towel and get that tension still. Uh, and then we'll go into press outs 
Okay, look at this. Use my and slight lean back, pressing out upper body, not moving at all, other than my arms. All right, so we want a nice straight spine, leaning back there. I don't know, 35 might be aggressive. I don't know if I can press that. All right, 20 seconds through each of those. Let's do that and I'll teach you through the next exercises. Here we go, are we ready? A little V-sit, heels kind of over object, a little rotations in three, two, one, let's go. Nice straight spine. Trying not to move your upper body too much. 10 seconds. And you can bend your knees. Still think up and over. Two, one. Grab your bicepers. Whatever you're using. Two, one, let's go. Slight lean back. Curls for the girls. Us ladies. 10 seconds. And good, grab your object, press out. I'm gonna be sandwiching this and pressing, let's go. You can always bring your heels off the ground as well. Ooh, nope, the legs are too tired for that. Lean back. Straight back. And rest. Beautiful. Okay, let's stand it up. Grab your a single arm weight that you can press. Okay, we're gonna reverse lunge. Okay, come up, drive the my knee up and the weight up. Back down, reverse lunge. One fluid motion all the way overhead. And I wish I had something a little heavier, but no 35s for me. Thank you. Are we ready? Soup can. Wait. Let's go. Reverse lunge. Try and do that knee drive. Press at the same time. Switch sides. Let's go. Here we go, drive that knee, get that back leg down, knee to the ground or to a hover, at least. And good, rest. All right. Maybe I can do these. Okay. Let's go, wide stance, sumo squat. As you come up, bicep curl. Squat, curl. All right, I can do this. Here we go, two, one, toes out. Wide stance, let's go, knees out. Squat, and curl. Keep that gaze up. You can use two dumbbells, you can use a band. Chest up. Few more. And rest. Nice. Okay, back down to the ground. Curls, y'all. Or V sit. V sit. Complex. Toes over. Curls. Press out. Here we go. Two. One, slight lean back, let's go. Control, these are for speed. Straight back. Straight spine, I should say. And good, grab your biceps. Here we go, get them ready. Two, one, let's go, V-sit, curl. Flex those abs. 10 seconds. Okay. 
And good. Press out. Hmm, what could I do here? Three, two, one, and go. Oh, this kind of works too. Hard. And good. Let's get up. Reverse lunge and press. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Switch sides, let's go. Beautiful rest. All right, we got our sumo squat plus curl. And you can use two, you will use one. Here we go in three, toes out, let's go. Squat and curl. Yeah, Mark. And rest. Oh yeah, good work, y'all. Here we go, we got one more set. And then we're done. Time flies. 10 seconds. Woo! Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go, slightly lean back. Up and over something. Chest up. And good. Curls. Two. One. Lean back. And curl. And good, press out, two, one, and go. Ooh, bring those feet up. Last set, just tired. Try new things, right? And good, done those. Let's go, reverse lunge and press, last set. Two, one, let's go. Switch, and in. Let's go a few more. Come on. Good. One more set. Squat, sumo, plus a curl. Here we go. Three, two, 
Come on, let's do it. Last 40 seconds of work. Nice work, 15 seconds. 10, come on. And 10, rest, rest. Oh yeah. I'm heading right to child's pose. Sorry if I do this one too much. And our favorite recovery stretch, right? This one was great. Did lots of V sits, lots of core shit. Chiz. Over, do a little chest shoulder opener to get a little more chest. You just bend your elbow. get a lot of hip flexor and lay on your tummy and grab one leg just stretching out that hip grab both I do like this one but sometimes it uh, for your hips Sometimes it causes people some grief in their ankles, so, or their knees. If you want to try it out, it is the best one, other than couch stretch. Oh yeah. All right, I'm still on camera. Oh, all right, you guys stretch it out. Thanks for joining as always. Monday, Wednesdays, 10.30.